Alright, yeah. This channel is fire, dark matter. But yeah, scariest ever videos filmed by ghost investigators. Which, yeah. I mean, the TV, the YouTube ones are actually much better than the TV shows. But yeah, anyway, let's go. According to paranormal researchers, some of the most haunted places in the world reside in America. It only makes sense that these locations have produced some of the clearest ghost footage of all time. So, from the ghosts of Gettysburg yeah. to the spirits of Waverly Hills Sanatorium, join us. Often described as the turning point of the American Civil War, the three-day Battle of Gettysburg ended with victory for the Union. However, despite the Union's success, both they and the Confederates suffered tremendous casualties, with an overall loss of around 50,000 soldiers, the highest in U.S. history. Therefore, it's no surprise that even after 150 years, Gettysburg remains one of the most haunted places in America with visitors often witnessing bizarre phantoms of the soldiers, almost as if they were trapped in time. No better was this captured than in November 2001 when married couple Tom and Delia Underwood filmed this eerie footage. I don't see nothing down there. Can't be the motorcycles, honey. There's another oh. spark. You see what I'm What's saying? What's that? What is that? A tree? No. You moved it. It's right. Right there. See it? Uh huh. Look. There's nobody there. Where? I can't see. Look. Hmm. Isn't it those people? Can't be. There's nobody. Not up there. in the trees. There's nobody down there no more. Still, this isn't the only incredible video taken at Gettysburg. I heard a well good, this mate is, he said he's got a house, or he's now known the house, and the house is still the same house that after the Battle of Gettysburg was used as to put wounded people, do you know what I mean? Um. And he's like, if you ain't a believer, stay on that property and it will make you one. He's like, the first thing we heard was when I think he was younger. And now, like, he, I think he owns it now. Like, he got it from his, his parents, I guess. But when they was younger, he's like, you clearly heard horses run up to the back door where the kitchen was. The door open and as if there was boots shuffling around in the kitchen. He's like, and then if everybody got up because people, they all thought that someone was breaking in and then there was no one there. But he was like, you have, cra also he said this matey, he'd sold on that property, there was like a little, tr like a trailer, a, like a trailer home. And he when he got the property he rented that out and he the dad was the one renting it for his son and he's like i said to the dad it's haunted he's like and the dad went don't tell my son that because he won't move in and he's like so i didn't i didn't tell him he's like and then maybe after a couple of weeks He's like, the son said to him, he's like, he come up to me and said, all right, what's going on with that house? He's like, and he's like, I was like, what? He's like, playing dumb. And he's like, the lights turn on and off, the telly turns on and off, like, you can hear noises. He's like, what's going on? <coughs> he's like, so that boy didn't even know nothing about the ghosts. And he, yeah, he knew. Gettysburg is proper haunted. In October 2009, this video was shot off Wheatfield Road and appears to show two clear apparitions. Oh. 
Holy, holy crap. Down by the can, you see that? Oh, what is that? Wait, shh. Oh my god. Is it? No way. What is that? I have no friggin' idea. Did you get that on the camera? I. It's recording. Oh my gosh, did you see that? That, that was pretty crazy. Opened in 1910 to accommodate around 50 tuberculosis patients, the Waverly Hills Sanatorium in Louisville, Kentucky soon fell to drastic overcrowding. Concurrent to this, doctors turned to more and more desperate cures, trying experimental treatments such as removing rib and muscle tissue to give the lungs more space to expand. As expected, these were not only infective but often fatal. Because of this, it's believed that the deceased patients now haunt the sanitarium. Yeah, I ain't Yet despite the history, most of the ghosts seem relatively peaceful. One spirit in particular, six-year-old Timmy, is very popular with visitors, many of whom present him with toy balls to play with. Interestingly, some of these balls have been filmed moving on their own volition. Oh, I think I'm right. In one video, taken on May 11, 2009, Larry Edwards caught this bizarre phenomena. Take your time, whatever energy you need to save up to move it, you just take your time and move it for me. Thank you. That's a good job, Tim. That is awesome. Good job. Though this may initially seem like the result of wind, the reality show Fact or Faked Paranormal Files were unable to replicate the video with such an explanation. Intriguingly, they also analyzed another mysterious clip from Waverly, shot on October 31, 2006, by Doug Peters. In this piece of footage, filmed on a stationary thermal camera, a tour group can be seen walking through the halls. Then, as they enter one of the rooms, two bizarre heat signatures appear at the end of the hallway before like disappearing those. into the wall. Once more, skeptical suggestions such as misidentification or a mobile heater were quickly ruled out. However, what may be the most perplexing moment from the fact or faked episode and one of the most perplexing footage from Waverly altogether came during their own nighttime investigation. Just after they had started, team member Lanisha Cole had left a ball in the children's playroom for Timmy. Later that night, the ball suddenly started to roll out of the room and towards where the team was. And I had an IR camera set up in the children's ward. I had a visual of the ball that Lanisha left in the corner. It wasn't moving. Well, it started to. Check out the video. Look at that. And it was right against the wall. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the ball that you left. Yes. And if you look again, the weirdest thing is, is that there's a ball in the room right next to it, and it didn't move at all the entire time. Mm, so I can't play the wind or nothing. In 2004, the crew of the reality TV series Ghost Adventures traveled to the Goldfield Hotel in Nevada, allegedly home to the seventh portal to hell. There, two of the primary researchers, Zach Bagans and Nick Groff, met former caretaker Virginia Ridgway, who revealed that during her 30 years' employment, she has heard numerous disembodied voices and seen countless apparitions. As to what caused such intense activity, it's believed that multimillionaire George Wingfield, a violent thug and murderer, still haunts the building. Supposedly, after getting a prostitute called Elizabeth pregnant, he kept her chained up to a radiator until the baby was born. George had then killed the baby and starved Elizabeth to death. 
Armed with this knowledge, Zack and Nick started to explore the hotel. Eerily, soon into their investigation, the pair heard a number of unexplained noises and followed them into the basement, the alleged location for the portal to hell. This is what happened next. Is that you making all that noise? This is the room. What room? Is that you making all the noise? Holy Oh my god! Holy In a later analysis of the video, it was determined the brick had been thrown into the air rather than pulled in a straight line, discounting the theory it was moved by a fishing line. Because of this, as well as the sheer terror in Zack and Nick's voices, the clip is considered the best footage ever caught by paranormal investigators. Uh, I definitely was scared. In 1992, Deborah and Tony Pickman moved into their new house at Atchison, Kansas. According to the couple, the initial arrival had been fine, but after the birth of their infant daughter, they'd captured weird, mist-like anomalies on film. Perplexed, Deborah contacted psychic Barbara Connor, who believed the mist was a physical manifestation of a spirit called Sally, a young girl who had died in the house. Oddly, records show that a Sally did die there in 1905, Yet whether her spirit was haunting the couple, or instead a demon using her appearance, has long been debated. Potentially, pointing towards the latter, Tony suddenly started to be scratched by an unseen force. At this point, the couple contacted the paranormal documentary series Sightings. Their case would go on to become the most famous in the show's history. On the Sightings crew's first day of taping, they were interviewing Deborah when Tony was scratched off-camera. Later that same day, in an interview with Tony himself, he started to feel incredibly cold and, whilst his hands were visible near his side, scratch marks abruptly formed on his stomach. It's just, I can't explain the cold. It's, it freezes your bones, everything. And as I looked towards my arm, I had four scratches that were bleeding as I looked at them. And it's really frightening. Yeah. She's just went right through my midsection. I don't. Oh my God! Look, look. I. Oh, look, they're forming. Can't come up with an explanation why she does this. Look, it's forming right there. She tends to do this to me because I upset her sometimes. I And she wants to be noticed, I think, today. <laughs> Further, in perhaps the crew's best footage, these marks then transformed into a thick welt, the process of which was all recorded. Sally, can you see through it? Is it working? Yeah. And, and go up. 
very slowly, yeah. Same, look, one's starting to bleed. There's a whole new. You get the new one? Oh, look at that, oh look at god. that, oh, look at that. Oh my god. It actually I knew just, she was around. <laughs> it's this nice dark one where look. it's bleeding. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. There it is. Look at it. We trained our cameras on Jeff's torso for nine minutes, the entire duration of the bizarre event. What first appeared as scratches eventually grew into long, thick, bleeding welts. No one had a logical explanation. It just simply appeared. You lifted your shirt, the same scratches were there. You put this to your stomach and all of a sudden blood started to ooze out. And this is like the most profound thing I've ever seen in all parapsychology. I've seen and felt a few things myself, but it could be suggestion, but th this is not suggestion at all. This is fact, and you have it on tape. For the next year, That's after capturing crazy. this unusual phenomena, the sightings crew often returned to the house, documenting more and more scratches or welts even whilst Tony was filmed and watched by crew members. However, both the phenomena and the intense media coverage eventually became too much for the couple and they left in 1994. So does this prove the so-called Sally case was merely a hoax or the product of a very real demon? So that was the four scariest videos from America's most haunted location. Yeah, I don't know if that is there's a woman who bought that house because it's haunted. And yeah, she like... I'm sure... I don't know if it is that house now, but it is the same story. A little girl died. I can't remember as well. It's like... Yeah, I can't remember. It's... it's the story of how the little girl died is like... Yeah dark but I can't remember what it is but it might not be the same house but yeah that was pretty crazy out of scratches yeah that was pretty crazy but yeah dark matter is a good channel go and subscribe if you like this stuff because yeah <laughs> this is a great channel this is one of the best scary channels I've found Probably since nukes and top fives. But anyway, yeah, that's the reactions.